I'm Nick Schiffer, and on a previous episode, we talked a little bit about the kitchen exhaust hood here at our Lake Drive Custom. Well, we're gonna answer your questions, and we're also gonna do a smoke test to prove that the system works. We would love to see a colored air test on the system to see it work as it's actually claimed. The good news is we ordered a bunch of smoke grenades in different colors, and we did this exact test with Ross as well as Stefan from East Coast Comfort. So from this point forward, I'm gonna kick it over to Ross to a previous visit we had with him, uh, and you guys get to see that smoke test live. All right, the idea is that the inner part of this is the exhaust part. So it's actually gonna take all the odors from the cooktop and send it out through this inner hood. That inner hood has a fan. The fan is actually remotely located in the garage, right? We do that because we want the fan to be further away for sound reasons, right? So you know these big blowers up inside here. And also we can get the fan in a three-speed arrangement to set low speed, medium speed, and high speed. But to our benefit, it actually worked because we didn't have, there was less going on in this hood. So the hood within the hood now, that second part is our makeup air. That's right. So the outer part around this is the, where the outside air is coming in. And so that's on a motorized damper approach. So outside air comes through and it basically an intake outside, 10 feet away from the exhaust. It comes in through a motorized damper and it basically falls through this face and down. Now it's interesting because if we took that hood off and there'll be a, you know, we'll be able to see that is there's actually two 10 inch round pieces of ductwork. One that gets sealed to our fan that's exhausting and the other one basically dumps fresh air into the, the, the hood, which is essentially now a plenum to drop that fresh air out. That's right. And so to maintain efficiency here and make sure that it works correctly, you got to make sure that you're delivering the right amount of air at the right amount of velocity here. If it's coming in too fast, you will disrupt and you get disturbance in what's called spillage. If it comes in slow, what it does, it does a really good job of capturing those fumes and what's been it's being cooked and basically send it up to the exhaust. So it's all about velocity, getting the air in here correctly. Now there's a lot of uh, back and forth whether or not this works. How are we gonna test this? I'm excited. So uh, we're doing smoke bomb or smoke grenade testing. So uh, I bought some smoke grenades, let me go grab them. Yeah, let's do it. So we're not running a scientific test here, but we just used some smoke grenades, lit them in a pan, put them on the back burner, put them on the front burner, and watched the exhaust hood work. And then we added blue smoke from the intake air from outside to show if the intake air was actually gonna work correctly. And we were looking for spillage. What we're looking for is the white smoke to not be captured and to be pushed to the side and not be captured. You can see in this case, we had proper capture of the white smoke coming off the pan. We're testing the fan at high speed, but we could have also done the test at low speed or medium speed on different fan speeds. To walk you through the process, we essentially set up our fresh air intake as a blue smoke grenade. So we pop the grenade on the outside, put it near the intake, and that's just passive air. So when that hood turned on and we're exhausting, you know, well over a thousand CFM out of that hood, we're passively pulling in that blue air. And then we set up a white smoke grenade in the pot on this cooktop to emulate the, the cooking gases that you're gonna have. And you can really see how that blue air comes in and you know mixes with the cooking gas and exhausts everything back out, keeping the house well balanced. There was a lot of back and forth whether or not the system would work. There's a couple specific questions I'd love to answer. What specific type of damper was used to make an airtight seal on the intake? Great question. Uh, there's also another question in there whether or not the uh, damper was motorized. It is. The exhaust fan is turned on. The motorized damper actually opens. That's allowing the, the air to passively come into the home, creating our makeup air. When the hood is off, that motorized damper shuts and there's a rubber gasket that's on both sides to, to allow that to have an airtight seal. Another great question from Justin. I wonder how grease cleanup will be inside that duct sealed plenum. Now that duct seal plenum in the front is actually our fresh air intake. So we shouldn't have any grease introduced into there because that's always gonna be passively bringing in fresh air uh, while we're cooking. Now on the kitchen exhaust side, that 10 inch exhaust that goes all the way to the outside, this leads into another question is whether or not it's gonna stain the siding. Well, there's always a chance of it staining the siding, but there is a long path of travel. In a commercial setting, you probably clean that duct pretty regularly, maybe once a year. Um, I think this would be kind of a case by case scenario here in a residential application. Uh, this also you know, leads to the fact that we're using an inline blower. And that inline blower is not in the hood, it's downstream, you guys saw in the last video, is that it's installed in a soffit in the garage. Now, in that video, it was plastered over so that it wasn't really serviceable. 
uh, we fully intend to add an access panel to make it serviceable. In the rare case that that entire blower has to be replaced, if we have to cut a little blue board and patch a little plaster, uh, it's gonna be pretty unlikely, so it would be a small price to pay at that point. Here's a question. I actually don't have the answer to this, but I wanna reach out to Ross so we can get the answer. Do you do something for the dryer vent too? Because the dryer vent is essentially exhausting air out of the house, creating the negative pressure. We had a, a suggestion on here from Dallas. You can get a condensing dryer, so you're actually condensing uh, the moisture out of the air and draining it. But I wanna reach out to Ross right now and see if he can answer this for us. So there's our smoke test guys. We appreciate the responses you guys had on the previous videos. If there's any other questions that we can answer, please make sure you leave them below. And as always, subscribe and turn on notifications. Until the next episode, thank you very much for watching.